The answer is it ran that heater for over six and a half hours straight. Today I have on my workbench the Watt Cycle 12 volts 300 amp hour mini battery. Now just to be clear, it looks pretty large, but for a 300 amp hour battery it looks a bit on the small side and indeed it is smaller than you would expect. That's why they're calling it a mini battery. Let's take a look at the label. There's the model number. 3.8 kilowatt hours, 3.84 kilowatt hours. So you could say it has three to three and a half kilowatt hours in it with a reserve. It's pretty heavy, but you would expect for 300 amp hours, there'd be significant weight increase. And I'm going to wire in a charge controller that's available, patch in my solar panels, and give this thing a complete full charge. Then I will bring over one of my inverters. It's the same as that one right there. And I will charge this battery up, run that inverter into a complete deep cycle just to see what it can do. Got a 150 amp hand fuse, cool and counting amp meter. This is an amp NVT inverter, 12 watt, low frequency pure sine wave inverter. Let's go ahead and start up the inverter. Get the inverter starting up. I've run an extension cord all the way from this inverter over here to. I'll show you what that's like. Over here, I've got my little tiny 500 watt space here. It's on, it's plugged into the inverter, and it's just now getting warmed up, and it's pulling about 500 watts. Let's go take a look at the battery and see what that's doing. Okay, so we're doing about 37% load on this inverter, 120 volts. And according to the battery monitor, we're pushing 42 amps at 566 watts. So the next step is to simply let this test run to completion. Okay, here's the end of the test. The battery just barely has 300 amp hours in it, so I'm going to go and shut off my inverter. Anyway, the battery pretty much has the capacity. The answer is it ran that heater for over six and a half hours straight. According to my amp meter, the heater was consuming 575 watts, but that's not the whole story. This inverter is wasting about 20% of the power. That having been said, with a space heater attached to an inverter like this, if the inverter is located in the same room that you're heating, you still win because that 575 watts is coming from the battery and it's still going to manifest as heat because the power this inverter wastes will manifest as heat and the rest of the heat will be put out by the space heater running straight off the solar panels and that would be the most efficient because you wouldn't have to cycle a battery 